What's going on YouTube? This is Jibbin and I got a brief review for you guys. Today we're going to talk about the OBS, okay? Um, heard, uh, you know, I actually had a little bit of money saved up a little bit and um, uh, decided to pick one up, see what it's all about. And since I got one, I'm just going to do a re review for you guys. So, and maybe other reviewers have already done them, but I want to do it for me for my thoughts, okay? So, um, I'm just going to talk about that. Let's go ahead and dive up close and uh, see what it's all about. Alright, catch you in a bit. Alright guys, so today we got the OBS. I got it in the mail today, okay? Um, I had bought this um, RTA from, um, what's it called? Uh, Advanced Vapes, uh, Advanced Vapes Supply com. okay? And um, the first thing I did was go ahead and wash it real quick, make sure there's no, you know, uh, any uh, machine oil on that. When I first got it, it didn't have none of that, but I washed it anyway, it's just to be, you know, because I don't like the taste of uh, machine oil, who doesn't, okay? So we're now in the box, we have this, okay? And I had a black one. Open it up, okay? Oh, on the back, um, scratch and authenticity, you know, to see if it's, it's authentic. Um, I had the word engineer here, do more about it, blah, 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 blah. And OBS here, and engine here, okay? Uh, sign, in the box we have the OBS, RDA, I got a black one, okay, comes with a spread glass, and, Jesus Christ, and a tool, okay, a little hexco, okay, um, underneath, when you pull this out, get your instruction manual, Okay, pull that out. Okay, refresh the menu. Pretty thorough. Okay. Touch you how to fill it, touch you how to build it, touch you how to unscrew it. Okay. On the bottom here, we got another small thing here. It says the word engine right here. Okay, engine. Pull that out. We got cotton. Okay, one pad of cotton. And we got some uh, O-rings, small, small size, medium size, pretty much just to rebuild to keep your, um, keep your um, RTA going. And it does have four grub screws. Okay, it has four. Let me see if you guys can see that. See, so four grub screws and come with a screwdriver, a hex screwdriver, a spray glass, and that's about it. Instruction manual and one pad of cotton. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away on the side. Okay, so um, like I said before, I washed it, make sure everything's in good, you know, no machine oil or whatever. Let's go and take it out and see what's all about. So far, I see a chef cap. Is it screw on or not to pop on? Okay, so it looks like you have a 510. So that's a plus. Okay, it's a 510 adapter. Well, not adapter, but you know, you can put your 510. This is just a regular chuff cap. Okay. Um, airflow on top, OBS here on the side, uh, on both sides. And on the bottom is designed by OBS engine. I have serial number um, OBS 610A. Okay. And if you look closely, the pin on the on this RTA is is not adjustable. Okay, it's not adjustable. It's pretty thin. I would not recommend this to vape this on a Mac mod. It has to be on a regulator mod, like a Rulex or a 200 or 200 S or wherever, wherever the case it can be. But make sure it's on a um, regulator mod. It's not Mac mod friendly. Okay, so I'm gonna unscrew this. Okay, glass in the bottom part. Okay, so it comes with one, two, three, four, five parts. Okay, so five parts to 
get this RD, RDA together and going. Okay. Um, after I washed it to make sure there's no machine oil or not, the first thing I ever did was go ahead and bit the coil because I know that takes a little bit more time. So um, I want to go ahead and put uh, some coils in there. When I ordered this, they gave me an option of adding a pair of coils. Okay. So um, I took the coils and throw them on there. Okay. And as you can see, they are twisted. Twisted uh, fuse clapton. As you can see, and try. So I twisted fuse clapton. Okay. Okay. You can see your four holes right there to put your cotton in, and then the bottom here is pretty much is your uh, reservoir. So, so what can I say? Okay. So I'm gonna stop this on. And this is my uh, 3D USA USA uh, ohm meter, one of the good ohm meters. I trust it. So, see what it says. 0 0.16, uh, point yeah, 0 0.16 or 0 0.159, roughly on there. Okay, let's fire it up. You see it's firing up real nicely. Okay. Okay. So I was going to throw a wick on it. And um, I'm going to wick it. And I'm going to basically tell you my thoughts. Where in the hell is my Kindos? Here it is. Actually, this is actually a new pack. Where's the open one? Since I've been, since I did my last review on the Kindles, a Kindle is a must-have. That flavor is good. And you know, this RDA, okay, this RDA here alone is about flavor, okay? So I want the most flavor as, you know, as much as possible than, um, than, than the clouds, to me, in my opinion, okay? But if you get a juice that has more VG in it, then obviously you get more clouds, okay? Do, 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 do. Say about right about here. Yeah, right about here. Okay. Ever since I've been vaping this Kendo, man, I fell in love with it. Kendo's a must have. It's a must have. Okay. Also, when I order this, um, I order um, a set of coils. Okay. Um, this is also from uh, VanceVapeSupply.com. This is where I bought the OBS because Elevent Vapes um, sold out. Um, 3D Vapes have them, but they're in China. I, I, pretty, uh, I read it, it says synthetic. But I don't want to wait too long. So I got this. I got it then order what Friday. I got it today. Today's Tuesday. Plus, you know, weekend was Christmas and Christmas Eve and other whatnot. So it was not so bad. Okay. Um, so this here is pre-made coils, okay? From events. Vape. Come on, man. Focus, dude. There you go. Advanced vape. Okay. Um, this one is a fuse clapton, and this one is a twisted fuse clapton. I only bought one, but it gave me another one. So I guess, I don't know. It just gave me nice enough to give me one. On the bottom, it tells you. See? This is why the cores on this one is a little more thicker than this one. Okay? And it comes with one pad of cotton. Okay? Not bad. And these are like $7.99 each. So it's not bad. But I'm going to use the one that came with one when I pre ordered this one. For sure. Okay? So let's go ahead and wick it. Real quick. Based on that one, that's a three millimeter. I say this about this much looks good. Yeah, let's go right there. Okay. 
breaks through. Right here. Pull up this one. Your ass in the hole. Okay. As in so. Okay. You guys seen that? And I have never done this before since I just got it. I'm trying to experience this. I'm guessing probably just to the rim. Right about there. Same thing with this. What about there? Okay, put that aside. And you guys up later. So now we got our wicks in. So I'm gonna not to shove it down there, but you know, slowly stick it in there. Because, you know, you got to wick it properly, so. Come on, get your ass in the hole. And what I like about the kennels, man, because they are, man, they are fluffy. I like them that way. You want as fluffy as possible, but not too fluffy. But when they're fluffy, man, they really absorb that juice, man. No doubt about it. Come on, get your butt in the hole. Hmm, this one's a, maybe a little bit too thick. Yeah. Let me go ahead and trim this just to be sure. Just to be sure, guys. Trying to do this V as fast as I can. Okay. Man, these holes are kind of small. That's my opinion, though. Last one. Come on, get your ass in the hole.
Sorry guys, bear with me. I'm almost done. I'm just worried about this one here. This one here looks gonna maybe a little bit overstuffed a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not so bad. Okay. So there we have it. So we're set. Okay. So let's go and put it together and add some juice to it and then give you my thoughts. Catch you in a bit. Oh, guys, I forgot to mention this before we get to the FaceTime. Um, if you look closely right here, come on, focus. 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 Okay, if you look closely, you see these prongs right here? These tabs? Okay. These tabs, if you look closely on the deck, okay, they have a little gap right here. Okay. There's a little gap right here, and there's a little gap right here. Okay. It's really hard to make on a camera, but there's a little tab opening space right here. Okay. What happens is that when you put the top on, okay, when you put the top on, these tabs, okay, these tabs right here has to line up with that on the deck itself, then you screw it on. Because that helps to line up when you put the, the, the top on, the airflow that goes inside, see the, see the pockets inside, the, 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 on the left and the right, those go land right on top of the coils, okay, it's very, very important. So if you do decide to pick one of these OBS up, I'm letting you know in the review that when you have to line the tabs up on these um, these tabs on the deck where there's a gap on it, so that when you put it in and when you screw it in, the airflow, okay, will land right on top of the coils, okay. You don't want to be off centered because then you know what's the point of having airflow if you're not on top of the, of the deck of the coil, okay. All right, so I just got to add that in there, so I have to add it in there, okay. So let me let's go ahead and do the FaceTime and give you my thoughts. Alright. Alright guys, so we're back on the FaceTime. Okay, so um pretty much uh, everything when I did the build it it is smooth, okay. Um it works smoothly so far and I built it, it was quick and easy, it was not hard, okay. Um stuffing on the hose where you put your wicks in to the reservoir on the bottom, it's not so bad, okay, it's pretty easy. It just takes a little bit more time, you know, a minute or two to Stuff them in there. You don't want to stuff them too tight because if you stuff them too tight, then the juice won't flow. Okay, and you want you want your uh, cotton to be fluffy too, so it absorbs that e juice into and feed it to your coil. Okay. I uh, also forgot to mention. Uh, let me do a little close, one more close up. You look closely. You see a little dot right there. Okay, it's a little dot there. So. That's your fuel hole, okay? Easy peasy, okay? I forgot to mention that, okay? Um, I haven't filled it yet, but we're gonna fill it right now. And on my last video, okay, when I did the review for the 1000ml.me juice, now, I didn't do it for, you know, I'm not sponsored by anybody, okay? I pay that on my own pocket, okay? And just to prove it that those juice are good, I wasn't lying, okay? It's not good. It got me um, peach lemonade and, you know, unicorn's milk. It'll last me for months, okay? And it's 80 BG, 20 PG, 1.5 nicotine. It's a lot. You know, this will last me for a long, long time, okay? You know, so it's good juice, okay? It's real good juice. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fill this sucker up. And what I like about it, it comes with a little nice uh, cap or ne a needle. And all you do is just take off your your cap off and, and give you that, and to give you that um, tip, it's pretty easy to load up. So let's pour some in. Easy peasy. Whoops. And I heard this tank here from I did my research. This tank's supposed to hold 5.2. 
uh, meals of juice, okay? And it's on a dot. It's not um, under or over. It's actually pretty exact 5.2 mils of juice. I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Take a little time. I don't want to waste my juice. Almost there. Done. Close it. All set and peasy. Okay. I got the wire fair, airflow wide open. Okay. So, turn my, my Rulex to a uh, 200S. So it's at 60 watts, okay, and it's showing 0.16 ohms, exactly, okay, exactly. So those pre-made coils are pretty on the dot, okay, if you guys can see that. See it? 0.16 on the dot. Not bad, not bad. So I'm giving these guys a try. I bought one. I'm surprised they gave me a second one. Uh, I didn't ask for it, but okay, but... Um, so as they give me an extra one, you know, I'm, I'm doing a full review, why not, okay? So, it's, uh, I haven't used these brands before, I usually buy my own and make my own coils. I usually just use Kento, you know, pretty much I just use. I mainly use a 24 gauge Temco, you can buy these off of Amazon for like, you know, um, what was it, 10? 8 bucks a roll, okay? And it lasts me quite a while. Okay, so now it's on. It's at 60 watts. Let's see what happens. Not bad. Not bad. I, I like it. Okay. Another thing that I why that I went out and bought this RTA. The air flows on top. You can adjust it. Okay. You can adjust your, your airflow and the airflow is on top, okay? It's it's pretty good. It's not loose, it's it's a good enough of stiffness to to adjust your airflow and it's smooth, okay? Good craftsmanship, it's, it's not bad. Uh, threads are really nice, okay? It's not butter butter smooth, you know, like the, the AV Life uh, um, 2 mod that I have or or, or the Kenny, everybody knows, you know, if you vape on Kenny, you know. But it's not smooth as that kind of material, but it's smooth, okay? For for a product like this, it's not so bad. Not bad, not bad. Uh, no leak, okay? Hold it down, no leak so far, okay? That's, that's the only reason why I went on buy it, because I won't be carrying this today to, with me every day to go to work. I don't want to carry my fancy ones because I don't want to scratch those. So if anything happens to these, I can care less, you know. But it works and gives me my nicotine and keeps me vaping and on them and stay open cigarettes. There you go, okay. Um, let's bump it up to 80 watts. The vape is a little more warm, a little bit more warm. It's a little bit warm. I'm guessing for me, my for me personally, about 60, 65 is good enough for me. Okay, that's just for for uh, my opinion for how I vape. Everybody has their differences. Okay, okay. So let's go over to the pros and cons. Okay, uh, pros. You can put your 510 adapter. Okay, 510 drip tip. Um, easy feel. Size it up, fill it, close it, done deal. Um, deck is is so easy to build. Okay, it's a velocity style deck. Easy to build, easy to wick, not pain in the ass. Uh, no leaks. Okay. Um, good flavor. Yeah, good flavor. Really, really good flavor. Um, Top uh, airflow, no bottom airflow, but for the way it's designed, it's good. It I like the flavor. Okay, OBS did a very fantastic job. Uh, fantastic job on this one. My other OBS, it was shitty. I have, I always have problems with that. It's either me or the way I wake it or what, but 
you know, um, I was using the Puffs Ocon and I was having problems. It was either leaking or I had a little dry hit every every now and then. And I didn't like that. Oh, so far with this, not, so, not a problem with so far. And I got a black one that matches my black and red mod. And it's flawless, okay, so far. Um, cons. The, dot, the very top chimney shaft to the top, you can't take it apart, okay? So... It is what it is. It's like a one piece thing. It doesn't break down even more, further more to clean it, okay? But you can rinse through with hot water and soap, be fine, okay? Um, trying to think of another con. There was another con I had in my head. Another pro, okay, so pros. It doesn't leak, good flavor, um, easy to build deck. Easy to wick and and uh, and um, coils. Five ten uh, drip tip you can put on. Top airflow, no leak. Oh, con. Con is that one piece top shaft uh, shaft you kind of fully disassemble it. So it is what it is. And I noticed the growth screw does strip strip easy. It's a it's a heck like a like an Allen wrench key set for the grub screws. They're easy to strip, and I believe I stripped one of them already. And I even tightened tighten, tighten, tighten them down that very far, okay? And I know where I'm gonna strip. But it did, it did it, you know, it works. So, but it gave me four, I can try, I can replace them later on. Uh, other than that, um, I don't know any other cons, man. It's all pros. 510 dip trip, leak proof. As you can see, it doesn't leak. Um, easy to build deck, wide, big enough, okay, My, these coils were 3 millimeters, okay, uh, easy to wick, um, price point, price point's like $29, $29.95 for this RTA, and that's so bad, it's really affordable, um, but this, this going to this, if I would have broke this, or got lost, or got stolen, and, Gemini, would you go out and buy another OBS RTA engine? For a price point for $29.95, the build, the way it's built, easy to wick, good flavor, no leak, uh, big deck for you to build on, easy to, easy to wick, not very much a pain in the ass, so it's pretty there. Um, yeah, I would. I, I would definitely go, buy, um, go out and buy another one if this one were broke, lost, stolen. Okay, yeah, I would definitely go buy another one. Um, it, so far, you know, everything I did in the video was the first time. The only thing I did when I first got the package, wash it with hot water and soap, dry it off, put the uh, pre two two uh, coils in it that was already pre made in there, throw it in there, and put everything back in the box and start the, and start doing the review video for you guys. So yeah, overall this is my first experience too, and so far I've been been happy with it right now. So I mean, it does its job. It oh another 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 con. You know how you, when you vape, and some people like to blow in a little bit so they can get all the air out of your gut and then suck in more vapor, okay? I noticed that now that if you do that, okay, the the way the airflow is angled, it will fly back in your face. It won't go to the side, okay? So it will go right into your face. So that may be a con to some people. Yeah, I'll do one just to show you guys. You see what I'm talking about? It blows back in your face. Compared to my other one, let me go grab it. Compared to my RDA, okay, it goes sideways. See what I'm talking about? So this one here blows back in your face if you do blow it in. That's maybe a cut to some people, but it doesn't really bother me. So I mean, it is what it is. Okay. So yeah, it's a good it's a good RTA. I other than the than the two cons that I found so far, uh, it's it's a good good RTA. Not bad. OBS did a really good job on this. Really good job. Okay. So yeah, if I if I were you guys, pick one up. You know. Most places already sold out already, and I just keep googling and googling, and I found one at Advanced Vape Supply had one, and I ordered it. So I got lucky, and they're based out of Colorado, Denver. So 
two three days getting milk not so bad not so bad better than 3d uh, uh, 3f vapes up in china that takes you forever to get one you know what i mean so yeah pick one up guys it's worth it for the price money point and the way it's made and a lot of pros can't beat it can't beat it go pick yourself up one so if you guys like the view please like the if you guys like the video please like and subscribe and comment and share okay give me uh, give me some thumbs up guys and thank you for support thank you for watching and um support the the vape uh, uh advocacy okay we still find the fda and um at the you know a vape, you know fight your right to vape uh, to fight your right to vape okay um try to stay from cigarettes you know so keep on with that um i wish i had a link for that but i don't but um Mike Bates probably have one, and Ownboy, uh, Ownboy has a link of that um, advocacy for fighting uh, to vote to um, fight the right to vape. Okay, um, I'll see if I can try to link in the bottom if I can find the link, but I have to double check. But yeah, so far works great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and um, to have another plug within paintball or vaping, I try to do the best video for you guys. Okay. So, oh, and also, juice, can't beat it. I'm telling you, it's, it's good. It's not a premium juice, and it's cheap, real cheap, okay? Not too, too cheap, but it's cheap, okay? So, yeah, pick them up, guys. I, I, I have plenty of juice to last me for quite some time, okay? So, yeah, so that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching, and catch you guys later. Bye.